Hello, everybody, and welcome again to the Dondi and Devereaux Show. I'm your girl, Belle Devereaux, and I'm accompanied by I'm my Dondi. brother from another mother. Prince Dondi, how are you today, huh? Thank you guys for tuning in. On Thank today's you. episode, we got some emails and some special requests. Oh, so we're going to call today's episode, What Makes a Good Relationship? Wow. Now, I must put out this disclaimer on the Dondi and Devereaux Show. The views and opinions expressed are our views and our opinions. And we, we t intend to offend nobody. So, if you don't like what we're saying, keep it moving. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> let's get it going. Uh, the people ask for specific things. They ask specifically, in my opinion, what made a good man to me, and in his opinion, what made a good woman. So, to keep it more inclusive, we just said what makes a good relationship. Because you do have other types of relationships than just male-female. So, right. you know, we want to include everybody. Right. But... Donnie, you go first. Tell the women what, in your opinion, would make a good woman for you. Well, what makes a good woman is someone who's loyal. And let's just see loyalty. Now, let me tell you, that's a little bit different. Everybody isn't loyal. Some people may like you, love you, care about you, but not be loyal. So loyalty is a preference, okay? Because, I mean, everybody wants to say that. But, uh, come on, when it gets a little thick, people start thinning their ass out of there, okay? So, so we would say, I would say, to make a good woman is... She has some great sex, God, yeah. she has to have some great sex, make you want to change your religion, like that, that makes, now that's a good relationship, you know, um, But what if, what if she looked like Miguel Gorilla and she got great sex? Well, I think that you should call her maybe at 2 o'clock in the morning and deal with her until 4 o'clock in the morning. That's not a relationship, nobody. though. It is a relationship, it's that relationship from 2 to 4. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, that's you know. True. This one it's right two here. To four. Seriously, you you keep it on the down low. You keep that way back. Well, you know, some of you guys I see. Let me let me get real with you. I mean, some some of you, some of these women. I mean, some of these. I mean, I gotta be honest. I see some of these cats that got women sometimes. They are they ugly as a bag of sin. And I can't lie about that. So the thing is, is that if that's your choice, then that's cool. You say I don't judge a person by their look. They say, you know, and that may be cool. If that works for them, hey, then so be it. But I think it makes a good relationship, actually, when you can communicate. When you can tell her some things. You notice I said some things. You can't tell a woman all things. When you tell a woman all things, believe me, your relationship is right out the window. I don't care how much. You can tell me, and no, you cannot. I would agree with that. I totally would agree everything. with that. I don't need to know everything. Yeah, I'm telling you, as a man, I don't need to know everything about that woman. <laughs> I don't need to know. There are some things I just don't want to know, I swear to you. Right. Trust I would me. agree with you on that, Dondi. Yeah. I, I once had a friend of mine, and she was a stripper. And, you know, part-time, she was a call girl. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, don't be shocked. When you, don't look at me like that. I know. I see that look. Now, that's okay. She was a, a stripper, and then she was a call girl. But all strippers are not call girls. All call girls are not strippers. You get that? So, the thing about it, don't make them a bad person either because they're a stripper. That's fine. I would marry a stripper if I wanted to. And if I liked that stripper, I loved that stripper, I would marry that stripper. Call girl, you know, that was her business. I mean, maybe she had to get money. I'm not going to knock nobody. This is America. How about those apples and oranges? Well, for me personally, um, the qualities that make a good man to me, he must, first of all, and I, I really don't care, but a lot of people going to say I'm shallow. I'm not, I don't, I can't see your personality. First of all, I have to be attracted to you. You must be attractive to me. So what I'm saying is your your appearance, your physical appearance has to capture my attention first. Right. That's you know, true. and you all can can you know jump up and down and scream and shout. Call me shallow all you want to. I don't give a damn. I'm wading in the shallow water. But um, <laughs> he, I have to be physically interested in you first. So if you ain't looking good to me, I'm not gonna pay you attention. Oh my god. So I'm being honest with me. This is my truth, right? That's my truth. That's my truth. If you looking like I said, like Miguel Gorilla, I'm not gonna pay you attention. That's it. And you know I'm told all the time, you will never be one of those married to medicine kind of women. I sure won't. And <laughs> not if he look like Miguel the Gorilla. That's why I'm glad I got my own money. <laughs> hey, okay, you gotta you gotta go with that. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, I'm being everybody. honest. That's, That's the true. first thing. Yeah. You gotta you, you know, you you have to Look yeah. a certain way, mm -hmm. and then you, you you have to present yourself a certain right. way. You got to right. be exactly. intelligent. Mm -hmm. You know, you you have to be of substance mentally. I want you to be mentally stable. 
I mean, you know, it's a lot of good-looking people out here crazy as, oh, as man, well. Oh, this is crazy. You know, I want you to be long. mentally stable. I've had some of the beautiful. I'm Jesus, telling they're you. crazy. Really? Oh, my goodness. They be just gorgeous. So, and this be but crazy. nutty is a fruitcake. But I sure like them a lot, though. But I don't. I don't want no nut. I don't like to. Have I, my share of nuts. Sometimes I don't, I don't like, like that, that no. but it just draws to me like a magnet. I like wonder a like a multi flame. I wonder why, Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> you multi okay. flame, Jenny Jackson. I wonder why. Yeah, I don't know. They do. Though. They draw to me. I don't know why. Uh huh. You got that magnet. But uh, the other thing I want, you know, I yeah. want someone who can hold an intelligent conversation with me. Right. Exactly. You know, I don't want somebody. What that is. <laughs> what? What you talking about? Say what they say. What? What, what you talking about? <laughs> What that is? <laughs> what? What? What are you talking about? Can you formulate a, a proper sentence? You know, I want somebody it's that's an intelligent, that. intellectual. You know, what is you trying to? What is you trying to do? What is you, you trying, trying to, to do? do? Instead of what are you trying to do? What, what is, is you trying, trying to do? do? What, <laughs> is, what is you on? What or or they use this one here against me too. You play too much. Are you doing too much? <laughs> what is that? Doing too much and you play too much and my bad. Oh, my bad is the one that really is just ridiculous. My bad. Well, I mean, I don't. I understand. Excuse me. This is where I come up in the air. Excuse me. I apologize. I'm sorry. But my bad. I don't understand what my bad is because I have no bads. Oh, mine is good. Anyway, that's right. Oh, and I, I want. I want somebody that, uh, like I said, somebody of substance. Somebody that has their own shiggity. Yeah. So you ain't got, you know, you got to be at least, I'm not saying that I won't deal with the guy that makes, you know, 50 grand a year. That's cool. Or However, five grand a year. No, 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 I'm not looking for a damn dependent, okay? But at least you make it so much. No. If you make it 50 grand a year. in shallow water. And you're highly, you know, you're 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 highly attractive. How many of you got fifty grand? How many of you got fifty grand? How many of you got fifty grand? Olympic style body. Oh my God! Let me tell you, let me let me let me, let me just step. Let you me, can make I, fifty grand. I, I gotta step in on this conversation. <laughs> now you say, excuse me, no, but I got to step in. Me. Let me get real. I'm being real for me. I'm telling you, half of these these beautiful people, people that are beautiful, they be broke as hell. <laughs> so. I have heard so, that. So, hey, look here. I'll tell you something. I think I'm joking. Check this out. I've heard that. In the wintertime, it's cold. It's freezing outside. Everybody will agree. Everybody will agree. Everybody agree. It's cold as hell outside in the wintertime. It is. Drive past that bus stop. I guarantee you, you'll see more <laughs> nice looking people on that bus stop than you see ugly people. They be in the car. The ugly people be in the car picking their teeth, digging their nose. You're like, Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord. What they driving up? Billy? <laughs> No joke. Oh, what up? Nice looking people. The fine bros. I'm telling you, they own the bus stop. Trust me. They, them ain't no lies. They ain't no lies. That's for real. It seemed like they said, I got beauty. I don't need money. I'm telling you. Because I'm telling you, I, I've seen them. I've seen it for myself. And I'm telling you, even the holiday in the summertime, they'll bring three or four of their ugly girlfriends to be there with them just standing there. And they'll be one of you on the bus, their girlfriend, and walk on off. I'm telling you. That's how I be. The fine ones used to be the ones on the bus stop. Anyway. Now, the men wise, you know what they do. They go ahead and they try to ride a bike. I'm trying to get in shape, take their shirt off. <laughs> They're taking their shirt off. Women's like, oh, he really is in shape. But that's your little brother's bike. I'm telling you. <laughs> or your nephew's bike. You know what? I'm telling you, it's true most of the time. See, we ain't helping the people. people that's we the truth, to help. though. That's we the supposed truth. to be the ladies who, who wrote in. They, right. they, they want us to be serious. So right, we got to right. be what serious. Is she, what does she want to know? Let me ask you. What, what is it that she wants to know? Okay, I got a couple of ladies who okay, email specifically about oh. you, Donnie. Oh, really? Okay. And we're going to give a shout out <clears> to them. Miss <throat> Angela Brown of Chicago. Hi, Angie. How are you, baby? And she wants to know if Dondi is single. Yes, I'm single. And she said, if so, mm -hmm. what would be your, uh, what would be something that would make you want to marry a woman? Ooh, Lord, she can put that thing down. Is she pretty in the face and thin in the waist? Mm. <laughs> Daddy gonna be real good to you tonight, baby. Okay, go ahead. The other mm -hmm. lady, she is from Savannah, Georgia. So oh, we got a Southern we got, Bill. We got people watching us in Southern Bill with a sexy tail. Thank y'all. Oh, yeah, how you doing? <laughs> um, hey, baby. Her name is Denise McLean of Savannah, Denise. Georgia. Okay, And she right. wants right. to know, what's Dondi's idea of the perfect woman? My idea of a perfect woman, honestly, is a woman who has very great sex. Very great sex. Who's very beautiful, sexy, bedroom eyes all the time. 
So you did specify she got to be beautiful. She got to be beautiful. She okay, because when you say she perfect, be fine, great mind. sex, it could be ugly people with great sex. <clears throat> she, when she turn around, you got in that position, she turns around and have that look on her face, she got to just make you just want to just take off like a rocket. Oh, Lord. Go ahead. But anyway. That's true. Thank you, ladies, That's for true. sending your emails. My ladies. And they, they want us to tell them. Now, we got to be serious for these people. I'm telling you what it is. Dying. I'm telling you. I'm, I, I mean, you. I want a man who's, who's going to be provider, a protector. I mean, yeah, I have my own, but the Bible said, y'all Bible, the Bible, y'all read, y'all believe in. It said a man is supposed to be protector, right? Okay. <laughs> so I, I want you to provide. These ain't my words. Okay. These are okay. not my words. Okay. Do you think a man is supposed to provide? Well, I do believe a man is supposed to uh, provide. Uh, there's no question about that. I think he's supposed to have money to provide because all of them want to protect and they can't not protect. Some guys are weaker than the female. Ah uh, yes, I've been counting. Well, I mean, well, you do what you can do. That's what I'm saying. Do what you can do. You'll be accepted. Come as you are. How about that? Come as you are. I, 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 I agree with that. Come as you but are. But I want somebody who is able to provide for me. Not necessarily that I need it, but I just well, feel well, you like say provide. when you say provide, let me ask because some of you all are thinking differently. But sometimes it doesn't have to be financially. I heard I heard somebody out there. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. It doesn't have to be financially to provide uh, moral support, right? Moral support. Um, it could also be physical support, you know, you know, sexually, whatever. And it could also be. Um, it can you know, also uh, be you. if I tell you I need a new transmission in my car. You are supposed to say. Okay, baby, how much that's going to cost? And if I tell you $4,000, you're supposed to say, all right, well, I got the first 2500 here. Okay, well, that's good. You, okay, okay now, we, now we cook it because she says, now, okay, and then he's coming up with half of the money, and she'll come up with the other half. Right. And that's beautiful. Um, my thing is, that's fine. No, no, don't get me wrong. Oh, at I, least I, you're I, supposed I, to say, well, this is what I can do. Well, it ain't uh, necessarily got to um, be 50%, but say, yeah. okay, well, check this out. This is what I can do. Okay. You know, I'll, I'll I'm go, not going to put I'll a, go, a, a, a label I'll, I'll on it. Go, you know, I'll I'm not going to put a number. I'll, I'll go with that. You know, I'll, I'll, am I'll I wrong for that? No, you're not. not no, I no, mean, I'm old school no, people. No, no, I, there's, I ain't there's one of these, nothing, these, these young, young, that. young broads that I, I don't know. I understand. <laughs> I understand. No, no, I do. I agree. That's fine. But fly. you know what I'm saying. That's true. Because what I'm giving you is priceless. Exactly. Well, what he's giving you is priceless as well. I mean, it's true. I mean, come on now. There's no, look, let's get real. There's no piece of tail better than, you know, your own. If you you a guy, you dealing with your woman, and she says, "Oh, her sex is so great." I'll be saying, "Mine is so great too." So we make her better than me, right? So we we going. Let's get even I'll now. Be the judge let's, no, let's get even because that's like okay. Now all, a lot of you all, I don't, but a lot of you all have children. Okay, so if someone has a daughter, right, and, and you have a son, right, does that make their daughter greater than your son? I don't think so because I see a lot of you mothers will argue down know, to the ground that. and say exactly There's that your daughter you. is your son is just as great as that person's daughter. You know, and vice versa. So I do understand that. So my thing is that let, let's put it here and say that we are all equal here. Okay, let's just say we are all equal here on that. So what you're giving a person, when you give them physically your your, your body, whatever you give them something that is priceless. That's great because that is priceless. Your body is priceless. Yes, let's that's, agree your, on that. that's my temple. That's the yeah, only exactly. one I have. And, and, and your mind, you know. And you can only get this yeah. right here. Exactly. You can get some yeah. more. Yeah, but but it's but only this, that this one. right here. It, it's is the only place that, that's this. true. And, and I, I strongly agree. I strongly, I strongly agree. I strongly agree with that. <laughs> so you, we have to we have to be in the right put put ourselves in the right mode of understanding that hey, you know if you're dealing with a person you're dealing with that particular individual this right. is what their life is about. So you have to accept them for whomever they are. Exactly. Now it is what you say it is. You understand right. what I'm saying? Right. Like person, how much you want for that whatever you got, and and you put a price on. They say, oh, that's that's more monetarily valued. You know, towards you, yeah, of course, but then it's, you put your personal value in there. That's how you feel about yourself. And I've seen some of you people, and I've seen some people that, that has, you know, you know, doggone well. Like I was talking about, I'm going to go back to the last time we talked. Some people say they're they are, they are 10 and Lord at their best, fixed up with everything on together. <laughs> they're, they're three or two at best, at best. So let's go there. Let, let's be honest about that situation now because, you know, you can say, I am. I deserve. Come on now. And I'm going to tell you guys something else. Now, now look here. Look here. I'm going to tell you this here. Next time you see me out in the club, look here. Do not, I repeat, do not step up, unless she ugly, and, and try to talk to the young lady I'm talking to and say, hey, man, you know, you're trying to, try to throw me off the conversation and get right in my face and your breath is hot as fire. <laughs> and, 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 and pushing up and getting all in my way. I'm macking. I'm here. But I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to get mine on too. See, I'm 
young single and free, and I want to get mine on too. So get your hot breath out of my face. Just give me a pop right on, brother, and move on. Because let me tell you something. I'm talking to her. Unless she ugly, you can have her. But if she beautiful like that, step back out the way. Give me room. Move around. Give me room. Give me room. Oh, no, no. He's trying to get in where he fit in. Uh, well, no. I'm telling some of you cats, knowing that you cannot get in there. You know you won't. So stop your jokes and all the rest of that stuff you be doing. You know, you're going to come around and be the jokey, jokey, jokey. And keep her laughing. Thinking she's going to go home with you. She is not going home with you. You are a bear. Oh, my goodness. Truly. Booger bear. Men, too. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you, brothers. Don't try to act like, you know, hey, you know, hey, she ain't talking to you because, you know, look at you. Look at you. Your teeth are green. Come on. Come on now. Hygiene ain't ain't, ain't cracking too strong now, you know, because hygiene is everything. But your hygiene is not that great. So don't go come in here and thinking that, you know, she's supposed to talk to you because you're a god or, or you're a king because they're not. A lot of, I mean, come on now. A king cleans himself up. And that's first and foremost. And I want to tell you that makes a great relationship cleaning yourself up. You know, that makes a great relationship. Hygiene is everything. Absolutely. I mean, that's <clears throat> a given. You shouldn't have to tell an adult that. Oh. <clears throat> have you run into females that you had to check about their hygiene before? Be musty as a goat. Really? Grown women? Yeah. Be musty as a goat. And you say, okay, smell yourself. They can smell themselves. Cut it out. Oh, my. Oh. Cut it wow. out. Yeah. So what, I, what did I say? I, I want them to be... Good looking, intelligent. I want him to have money. He ain't got to have a whole lot of money, but he got to at least have. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> I don't want a low ball, but at least, you know, if you make it 50 grand and you just a phenomenal guy. Well, how I, much can I he actually save if you make it 50 grand? He has to be living good, too? I mean, so you, you know, wanna, if wanna, he has. A real nice if, place. No, because if he's single, he can have a studio and it can be in there. <clears throat> okay, all right, all right. Well, let's get let's get to that factor. But he has to have vision. Yeah, okay, he you gotta are, have goals. You are gonna get to the, the sis. This scene is shallow. We don't want you all to see this part of her. <laughs> really? I, don't give a I mean, wait, okay, <laughs> okay. okay. This our okay. show. Okay, we're gonna put it here. Look. Okay, look. Okay, now we we'll listen to what she said. These are our views. All right, he's and making our fifty. Opinions. Not, not. Look, not, I know this, this is not her, but she says this could be somebody else. Somebody make her 50 grand. Then you know you bogus. I, why I can't, am I, I can't bogus? Even say, I can't. I'm not going to even say. Why, why am I bogus? Look here. I, I don't want to say What are you trying to say? I'm not going to talk to nobody yeah. making 50 grand? When the last time you talk to anybody that makes 50 grand a year? I'm not. 50 grand is money. But, hey, look. Hey, cut. Hey, look. That, that ain't. That could be a good dude. Yeah, for who? <clears throat> somebody. Okay, that's my point. <laughs> look what she say. Somebody. Okay, well, let's keep it on real. Okay. This is what she says that possibly a good guy for somebody. But right. you ask her what makes a good relationship, she'll say for somebody. That's fine. Yeah, that's and, what and, I'm but saying. that's not for her. So don't you not think me. so don't think that you okay, guys somebody. making fifty grand gonna call her up on the telephone no. and even if she okay, you look good, she's not gonna go for that one either. I'm just telling you. So you look good, you got fifty grand, she ain't gonna talk to you. She's like that. So the fact that I'm <laughs> What you trying to say, Dodgy? <laughs> I'm telling you now. So you say, Okay, okay, well you look like Billy D. Williams back in the day. That ain't gonna work here. You make fifty grand, and she goes, "But how much you don't got saved? You ain't got." <laughs> you know I'm what? Telling, my brother's on the road look, look, today, y'all. I'm telling you, look here. I'm just don't telling him no I'm, man. Don't believe what she's telling you, all guys. <laughs> He's on the road today. So don't, don't you ever give no good, emails. Good energy going on in a good mood. You are making fifty thousand dollars a year, so I'm calling her. Huh? Oh, cut it out. No, you can't. You call, you call from a distance. He could be a good person. <laughs> she. No, you said for you, though. No, I ain't talking about me. No, see, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> well, you hear what I'm we're saying, not right? talking about me. Oh, you heard what I'm I just said. I'm just saying. saying so we'll make the ladies call, they wanted my opinion. So my opinion got to pertain to me. Okay. So in my opinion, he could be a good man for somebody. A well, man make a 20 grand or you could be a good not, man for somebody? Well, yeah, for somebody. Okay, for somebody. Well, yeah, okay, say that. But you said, he said, <laughs> I think he can make $50,000 a year. And he, that's what she said. Now, she said that. But so, not for me. Okay, well, okay. Well, what makes it? All right, let's start this. I feel like what the Bible says, you're supposed to be equally yoked, right? You know ain't that many people that's equally yoked, for real. <laughs> but I'm, isn't that what it says for, it the, says for the people who believe in the people, Bible? How many people are equally yoked? I mean, hmm. but... I mean, that's why a lot of my breaking up and killing each other stuff like that. <laughs> that is true. They're not equally yoked. That's, that's not, true. That is so true because I mean, the next one get jealous of the next one. A man know what you drive, and then a guy drive working hard. Man can work on a good job, real good job, great job, 
and, and, and pull up next to her in her car. And, and the thing about it, I'm telling you, he gonna, he gonna think. But the thing hey, is, down, you man. have to have. I dated somebody who had absolutely positively no vision. He didn't have no 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 goal. I think I I probably went on two dates with him. And I'm and you know and I saw potential and I'm like this is a this is a good dude, this is a good dude. You know I could work with him, I could mold him, but I'm I'm picking his brain trying to see where his mind at. Where was it? He you know he didn't make a lot of money, but he's he's letting me you know he's asking me little questions and he was like, um, you know, um, how much it costs to get your nails did? And I say, oh this, this just one twenty five today. He's like. Oh, well, um, I can give you half. I say, I don't need your money, baby. I'm good. I say, but what do you want to do, you know, with your life? What do you want to do with yourself? You know, I said, if you had an opportunity, because I will work with you if you're a good person. I promise you. You'll work with him to get with somebody else. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, see, that's the thing. He's trying to trick now, me. Now, what are you talking about? <laughs> no. Now, you know what that I'm man saying, can't pay for her nails at 125 I'm telling you, he ain't got a chance. I, but he I was love trying her to elevate him. He, she was trying to be nice. I'm until, trying to be nice until the check came. See until that check came, and, she was, was. and then she gonna pay the check and says, "You know, I got it this time. Know where we'll be next time." And then we're gonna but be, you know, you know, know what, what, it, what it was. I, 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 I was trying to see where his mind was. Wow. I was gonna give him an opportunity to make some money. I was gonna give him an opportunity. You work for you work for you. You know he work. He was gonna, right. he was gonna hurt his feelings. Why? Come on, man. If I'm giving you an opportunity yeah. to make more money than you making. Of course. Yeah, of course. But he, he wants the package. He wants you with it. None. See, see what I'm saying? No, you don't. See, okay, well, that makes if it. If I'm the boss, we can't have it. Kind of okay, but well, listen, listen. See, that, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> what makes a good man a good woman? You all got to figure it out. You have got to. Because I'm telling you, it's going to go a zillion 14 ways. Well, I mean, what, what makes a good man? What makes a good woman? You a know good what? man is one that's responsible He's reliable. If I call you, say I break down on the expressway, and I call you and you say, okay, I'm on my way, that's a good man. I don't need to call you and tell you, baby, I got a flat, I'm on the expressway. Well, what you gonna do? Okay. I don't need that. Okay, he was in position to come and get you. Okay, but look. Was- or say, look, I can't come get you right now, I'm at work or whatever, but I'm finna send AAA to get you. I got AAA, I'm finna send them to get you. Something, make a way. Okay, you know, I make got, a way. Okay, all right. Look, let me, let me tell you an experience I had. And uh, this young lady, I once had a lover. She was a lover. And uh, this, this is true. She, she was my lover. We wasn't boyfriend and girlfriend. And uh, she was my lover. Great lover, as a matter of fact. You know who you are. <laughs> okay, but listen. I once, uh, we were talking, and I said, you know, I know I'm a good man. And she turns around, and we were... We just finished getting it on for the first round. We were going like by the left round. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, she turns around. She's getting some water. She turns around and says, to who? Wow, that broke my ego. I'm like, well, well, what you mean? What, 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 that voice went up eight octaves, you know? She says, to who? You may be a good man to eight, nine women, but that doesn't mean you may be a good man to me. I absolutely and, agree. And with I that. said, you know what? And, I, and you know what? That changed me that day. Yeah. That changed. And I said, I said, well, you know. So you're a good woman, right? She says, hey, to who? It depends and, on the and, person, right? Exactly. And she it asked. Does. She it depends asked. On the she person. thoroughized me that day. I said, oh my goodness. She said, yeah, because some may good be good to the other person, may not be good for the next person. And you that's know so what? very true. That is that's so, so true, true because I have, I have uh, people acquaintances that I know mm-hmm. you know who have been married to people mm-hmm. who did not do a third of the things that I would do just for a boyfriend that's right you know everybody I didn't know what, and I'm, you know what I'm like I was so to you. totally I, I understand that in I, love with this woman and I'm like know, wait a minute you just told me she don't wash your clothes she don't cook for yeah, you, yeah. and you better not ask her for no sex. What right, the hell right. you married you, to a father? You know, that's that's true. And you giving her all your money. And that's, you know, that, that, you is, know. That, that, that is very true. So, you know, that, that is true. And, and, you know, look, I'm going to tell everybody out there. I want everybody to get themselves a checkup right now. Give yourself a checkup, everybody. Check this out. There are some people that you deal with, you know, mm-hmm. if, you, if you, you've, you're if you old enough and you've had sex. I'm not saying, you know, you've been married. I said if you had been old enough and had sex with more than one person, there are certain things that you will do for one person that you won't do for another. Now, the person that you may do the most for sometimes 
may not be the person which you live with or care the most for. You understand what I'm saying? Let me let me let me wind it, let me rewind it for the people who don't understand where I'm coming from. I said the person sometimes a person may do more for the person that they don't even live with or the one they care the most for. They do more for that person than the person they care the most for or the person they live with. That makes no sense. I know it doesn't. Now, let me give it to you. See, look, watch this. This is one-on-one. Let me give it to you. This is Prince Dandy School and one-on-one. Watch me now. Sometimes um, I've, I've, I've watched a lot of relationships. Sometimes you may pay a person to leave and not to stay. Do you all understand that? Now, let me help you. Let me help you. Look, listen. Sometimes it's a person that, that's, that's always at you or, or make you feel good sexually or a person who just intellectually st stimulate you, right? Now, that person who intellectually stimulate you, you know, which may not be your girlfriend, boyfriend or whatever, live with them, and they just put so much meat on your head. Like my dad said, put that fat on your head, you know. Um... They, they make you think so much. And, and it's not like they stimulate you sexually even. It's they give you so much by their intellectual status that whatever you have, which is your greatest asset, sometimes maybe your finance. When that person asks you, say, I don't want to ask you, and they're not your girlfriend or boyfriend, they give you information that's priceless. So you give them all you have. You would say, okay, well, let me get this person a $500 bill. No problem, no one has to pay me back. But the person you care about or whatever, they ask you for $200 and you up in a rage, baby. You all about to box and tell the house now. Because you're, why do you deserve this? Because it makes you feel a certain way. Certain things make you feel a certain way. You know, it's like, you know, certain things you like when you go to the store. You like, you know, some people may like Twinkies or cupcakes, right? Now, they go 50 cents up on the Twinkies. You may not pay that. But they go 50 cents up on a cupcake. You say, I'm paying that. You, you understand? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, like I say, people, you, 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 you pay for what you need. No, you know you, you pay for what you want and you beg for what you need. But I don't understand. I don't understand how. I'm I'm with you. We're together. Mm -hmm. We have an established mm -hmm. relationship. Mm -hmm. I don't understand me giving you a hundred percent and you giving me thirty percent. Oh, that's how it is. It's just life. There's never. And I can tell I everybody out there. That. I want everybody out here to know one thing. There's never that. an even relationship. Let's, we let's we have an acquaintance that we know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Great guy. Oh, yeah. Salt of the earth. Mm -hmm. Loved his wife. Dirty draws. Dirtiest draws. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She had them little runway streak, streaks in there. He loved them. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Love and numbers. he gave her 150%. Yeah. Worked a full-time job. Worked extra side mm -hmm. jobs. Gave her. She was very materialistic. Everything she saw somebody else with, she wanted it. He humped his butt off to get it to her. Mm -hmm. She treated him like dirt under her best pair of shoes. Yeah. And we know this for a fact. Yeah. He yeah. gave a hundred. I wouldn't even say she gave thirty. I'd say she I, gave. I, I, I know. I know. About friend. twenty. I know. I, would, I, know, our friend, I know our friend. Are you talking about? I maybe about five. I'm Actually, serious. I don't yeah. understand she, how. She may get about five percent. Men stay or women stay. Women stay, stay with, yeah. Women with, do as well. With, with with people and, and you that treat you like that. I'm going to help you understand that right now. And I want the world to hear me. I can't understand this, that. I'm, I'm, going to help, I'm going to help her understand this along with you guys right now. Okay, listen. One day we were out. I, I, it's a totally different type of story. But it, it refers to the same way. And watch where I'm going with this. We were out. And uh, back in the day, you know, I used to you know, bunk bones and <laughs> shoot pool for bread and meat. If I didn't win, I didn't eat. But check this out. So we out one day, and one of my buddies, he's gambling, <coughs> and he hitting, <coughs> and he hitting, right? And he had a buddy of his, right? He treated him like trash. Partner. He treated him like stomp down, dirty trash. And every time he, he hit, uh, the dude jumped, right on, that's my man. Uh, right on, that's my partner. Oh, right. And when he started, you know, losing, my man was like, man, he, he, he just couldn't see right, right then. And, and he threw it wrong because his hand hurt. He was making, making more excuses for that dude than... A nigga going to jail. This is his buddy now. Listen, this is his partner. Dig this. So his partner turns around, the one that was losing. Man, get up off me. Get up off me, soul. What's wrong with you, man? He turns around and, and look, he's a quiet cat. He do anything his boss say. His partner. He said, look at here. 
I'm your flunky, man. I'm your flunky. I don't care about the rest of these niggas out here. I'm your flunky, Jack. I'm with you. We in a die. He said from the womb. Man. He said from the womb to the tomb. You my man. My man. You my buddy. My partner. I take a bullet for you. And man, right then at that very moment, at that very moment, like that woman told me that, at that very moment, everybody, else, hey, all the cats are laughing. Oh, her <laughs> laughing. It made all of us shut up. It shut. It silenced everybody in there and all them hustlers. That know me, that's looking at this, they know exactly the day I'm talking about when we were shooting. They knew exactly what cat who did that, who said that. It made all of us look small. Cause let you know one thing for sure, loyalty. You can't buy it. You that's can't true. buy it. It let you know that cat was loyal to that dude. Yes. That was his partner. He ain't one gay, none of that. But they, that was his partner, and he was win or lose. I'm with you, man. I'm with you. you and know, that was, that was straight up loyalty, brother. How old was he? At the time. He's lucky. He was about 35, 36. Okay. About the, maybe, maybe, he may have been maybe about a little bit older at the time. Okay. He knew he was saying, but well, hey, he was a money getter too, though. But that was his man win or lose for the wound to the tomb. So that's how actual loyalty, that I said that earlier, we was talking about loyalty. That's loyalty, man. I mean, no matter, he said, I'm your flunky, not theirs. I don't care what them niggas do. I'm your flunky. And he, he, checked, he checked him. He made him shut it down and said, oh, okay, 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 man. Y'all know my, my interpretation of that. Yeah. He was a fool. Well, no, people, <laughs> now, people may believe that. That's my you know you, you know what he was. I'm grown as one. I ain't gonna let I'm nobody tell you. talk crazy. I, no, me. no, I'm gonna tell you now. I ain't nobody. I'm flunk. gonna tell you what he I'm was. Gonna and I'm gonna put it on I'm another level. It. I'll put it on another level, and you all gonna see where I'm coming from. He was a vice president of the United States of America. I mean, not like the cat was America. He's the vice president. No matter what, they didn't let him see nothing going wrong in their home. He let him know, hey, he my partner. No matter what, even though the other cat may not have saw him like the, like he saw him. You understand what I'm saying? But that's loyalty, and that's a, that's a relationship. And those are things in which we must also learn that there are very few of those. Just like but that. you know what? Now that you did mention the yeah. vice president, our former yeah. vice yeah. president, yeah. Mike Pence, yeah. class act. Yeah, class act. Never. Did he bad mouth Donald Trump? Never, and you never no should. Matter never should. What no matter the what people said, never. no and matter should. what happened, and they the should. insurrection, all the that. Vice president is never bad mouth president. Never, never, never bad ever. Mouth never, president. never. Now that's a class. That's act, right. That's right. That's my point exactly. You that's see what I'm saying? <clears throat> you see what I'm saying? He bowed out gracefully. That's right. He, he <clears throat> no matter what. Himself with poise. <clears throat> no matter class what. No matter what. On every. Every media right. platform, and they tried yeah, to yeah, draw it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they tried. tried. Also, they tried it with Biden. Biden they tried. tried. Well, he wouldn't. He wouldn't bad mouth Barack Obama. They, so yeah. that's how the vice president is. Yeah. He's like, hey, I'm with him, win or lose. I'm with him no matter what. It's because see that that's how that's that, that's a relationship. So we don't. We never. And in a relationship, let me tell you something. In a relationship, every relationship in which I've witnessed and wanted, there's always gonna be somebody who loves someone way, way more than another person loves but, them. Yeah, that's. I want to touch though. one that I have an acquaintance of mine, and um, he was telling me a couple of days back that. He went somewhere and, um, you know, he was just playing around with a friend of his and, you know, he's a jokester. He liked to play. Mm -hmm. And the friend of his was like, man, you an asshole, man. Stop playing so much. Mm -hmm. And the dude went on to say, your ex-wife was right. You is an asshole. And, you know, mm -hmm. that struck me. And I'm like, mm -hmm. you won't talk about your husband to nobody. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't give a damn what kind that's of president ass or vice president. president. See, that's what I'm saying. You know president what I mean? Biden. That's true. So we have lost in relationships, mm -hmm. women and men. We have lost respect. Respect yes. for one another. Yup, exactly. That's I do, the I do, I do, main I do problem. I do, I do agree. I, do I mean, agree. we talk to our men like they ain't nothing. Mm -hmm. That's a man. Mm -hmm. You don't. You know, it's certain things I would never. I heard a lady. Call her her boyfriend at Walmart. A bitch MF. <laughs> See that, 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 and you that, that, know, that. all he did was hung his head. Man. Hey. And you know, I, it wasn't my business, <laughs> but I wanted to slap the shit out of him. You know what? You know what? I, you know, I, I'm I, like, I understand that's that. a I, man you in public. I, 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 but you know, hey, I you tell you this. You in public. See, see, that's what and he, you winning. You, you, you 10 place. months pregnant by him. Yo, you got all these little babies around. Exactly. And it's probably they daddy. Maybe yeah, not, but right. he probably have one in your belly exactly. daddy. Exactly. And yeah. look how you talking to him. Uh, it happens. Uh, you know, I, I but then when he draw back and knock the hell out of him, yeah. he wrong. Yeah, 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 they'll just say he's wrong for that because he put a fist. But so when he walk yeah. away yeah, exactly. and now you got to raise yet another yeah, baby I by do, yourself, I do, I do agree. he ain't no good. I do agree. We have to understand that in a relationship, we must Above all else, we must respect one another. That's what makes a good relationship. 
You respect, must respect. Respect is what makes. Have a boundaries. Have limitations. Well, well the, the way, have the way, things that you won't dare say. The way people, places you won't they go. Not like, like today, their people are like that. They want to say what they want to say when they want to say no, what they want to say. I'm telling that's, you, I that's not going to make a good that, relationship. That's, that's, that's right. But that's respect. Not. Respect makes a great relationship. Exactly. And that, that is a fact. Respect. R e s p a c t. You have you know, to. That, that's true. You, know, respect, you have to. And, and we. That's why. And then you know. We losing the battle, and then you want to say no good men out here. Well, hell, y'all done damaged all the ones that was good. That's true. Now they don't want nothing to do with a sister. Yep. They gonna move over to another, you know, kind yep. of woman. Yeah. We ran into a good guy in the gym, remember? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Who's telling sure somebody? did. Oh wow. His wow. ex wife wow. dogged. Yeah. What dog walked oh, him? Oh my goodness! Like he, like she went oh. and got him from the kennel and took oh, him on a walk. Oh my goodness! Dogged him. She getting his pension. Oh yeah! I mean, took everything the brother had. He was in the, moved out of another city together, and she locked him out of the house. He came home that day. Well, he, he had did. a good job. He had a great job. Great job. Great job. Six figure man. Oh yeah. She him out. dog walked this brother. Locked She's to this out. day yep. getting part of his yep. pension. Yep. Yep. Sure and she going on cruises and stuff yep. with sure her is. girls. Yep. Yep. And right. putting it yep. on social media. Sure yep. Out thanks to his pension, sure we on this sure cruise. Is. Yeah, man. That was who and you know, and the brother's very humble. And I am telling you. Good brother. You know, he's a very humble brother. Good brother. As a matter of fact, I saw him today. You, you saw know. him today? I saw him today, yeah. We used and, to see him in the gym in the morning and, and before the, the COVID. Is, you know, they could be down there every morning, yeah, but and, since and, they had and, to go back to work, we don't has, see him he all has, He has two very beautiful trucks and he just got a brand new one just But uh, but, yeah, but what but what is his new wife though? His you know What is his new wife? Well, Tell well, the people. Tell the people. Well his first wife was a sister. Yeah. What what is his new wife? She's biracial. She's um Filipina, some yeah, she's something like that. But she ain't no sister. No, she isn't. My but point is, they, a lot of them don't know how to do sisters. A lot of a lot of sisters, not all sisters, but a lot right, of sisters. Like, a lot, shut but up. Exactly. Shut up. Stop. Just shut up. Just shut up. Disrespecting yeah, she, uh, your man. Yeah, she's Asian. Stop disrespecting your man. Yeah, yeah certain is. things you don't say to a man. I always remember yeah. that's a man. That's who you laying with. You know what? What you, does that you, make you look like? And you picked that too. You says, you know, his wife. I and told it, you that, that before amazing. I ever I, saw I, his I, wife. I, I didn't even I, 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 I told my brother. I, said, I, I said, how do you figure that? I, he I, he, I, he I, ain't married to no black woman no more. And he said, and she said that. And I, I was like, I we're walking back. I, like, I knew that. I think it was, what make her say that? I knew it, because I knew it. I'm like, I knew it. could say that. You know, I, I didn't know what made her say that. You know, these damaged men. And I saw his wife. I was pulling in one day, and I saw his wife. What's his wife? Oh, see? yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. You're right. But my You're point, right. ladies, in trying to make a good relationship, remember, respect is very, very important. That's it that's is. that's at the top of the list. Yep. Respect your man. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't give a damn what he do, how he do it. Yep. Yep. Humble yourself. Stay in your lane. I can't say this enough. Stay yeah. in your lane. Don't be raising up at no man like you finna whoop his ass, like you got yeah. bigger balls than him. Yeah. You know, where, where, where we get this behavior from? Man. Where we get all this masculine energy from? Man, I tell you. I where? Tell you, I tell you. When did we stop becoming submissive and soft man, man, and feminine? Man, 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 when man. did we stop doing that and yeah. humble? Mm -hmm. You know, that's not attractive. Yep. And you know, when we go to the cigar bar, whenever them young girls come up there, now, you know, I ain't got nothing against young yep. girls. I love y'all. Yep. I got young daughters and I got young god daughters. Mm -hmm. I love young girls. But some of y'all. Yep. Yeah, they be out of pocket. <sighs> Deeply. A lot of them do be out of, just totally out of pocket. I just, I'm not out of pocket. Totally out of totally. pocket. Totally. Totally out of pocket. The, the other day, when I was up there, they were twerking so hard out in the parking lot. It got to the point where it got to the point where they had thongs on. They take off their oh, actual no. pants. They take off their short pants and, and was twerking with just the thong on. And they were twerking, twerking so hard. And this car is was, not in the hood. Was, they, no, this is in Tinley no, Park. No, no, yeah, they, they were parked over from my car, twerking so hard until I came up and I, I turned the lights on in my car. And, oh my God, can I get out? I said, hey, don't even try it. You know they don't want to take a picture. Yeah, no, you ain't taking a picture. They probably want to get on top of no, your no, car. No, they got on top of my car. <laughs> Fred, okay. They probably, uh -uh. they probably want to get on top of your car and well, do they little pros. Hold up, I'll tell you. Hold up. This show isn't fit for this. <laughs> yeah, this we gonna, okay. Uh -uh. I'm telling you. Let's get back to the point. I'm telling you, but the, my point is. This point is, is not, this is not truly. Really, yeah, my this, point this is, like, to, to try, you know, one of the main ingredients to a good relationship is respect. Is respect. That's true. I you do have agree. to respect your man. You do. He is yeah. human. And, and men, you must respect your human. women too. And, and you, you, you right. must respect. You must not talk to her. You know, any kind of right. any, You can't do that. Sometimes you come no. in. Let me talk to you for a second. You got to talk to your woman. You know, um, <clears throat> we all have tempers. 
and sometimes we lose our temper and we, we say things we don't mean like right away you know somebody like 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 somebody pouring hot water cold water on you but sometimes when you. you say something you yeah. can't never take that right, back you can't never take it back but you know we have to we have yeah you know, I, I, I've been I've been you know accused of that you know I've been accused of it and never proven that it was actually happened uh, <laughs> like uh, and, uh, um, <clears throat> that you know you, you you snap in the midst of it I always stay cool but you must also remember that that is your girl or your whatever. You do. And you got to get a lover and care about it because she's not always together. You know, women have eighty eight thousand. Women have a lot of emotions. emotions. So you got to a be lot of emotions. What you do, and you got to keep say, that in mind, you know, man. You know, we all over the place sometimes. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes especially at a certain say, time like of the month, yeah, we, yeah. we might lose our man. Oh Lord, that's so true. <laughs> And you be looking oh, like God, you so like true. coming at her head, spin around like the exorcist. Man, this woman went off on me like <laughs> last month <laughs> and came back and apologized. I'm I telling am so you. sorry. I'm she telling says, you. She says, she says, I'm so sorry, she said. But the thing about it is that by by her um, going off like that, she says, I, I, I didn't mean to that time of the month. See? And, but I knew it. So I, keep I, this I in it. mind, man. I, I when your lady go it. off and you don't know what the hell wrong with her, you yeah, be looking like, yeah. what the hell wrong with her? It wasn't. I ain't even do nothing. It wasn't ever doing that. You know, know, it I know it we feel with emotions all yeah, the time. We got yeah. emotions y'all ain't got. Yeah. But still, women, we have to do our part. We have to respect our men. Man, that's you know, I, I, I observe it all too often. Yeah. Women out here in these streets, and you disrespecting them in front of the kids. Oh yeah, that's it. Oh, I told you about that situation. You know, I don't even, you know, that situation that I saw happen like that one day a few years ago. I I, I hate to relive it. <clears throat> I hate to relive it. It's how just, it's how so are the kids supposed to respect their daddy if you disrespect them? Oh yeah, that's true. What are you teaching that, them? That, that is so very true. What are you teaching your little boy, and what are you teaching your little girl? Mm -hmm. What are you mm -hmm. teaching them? That's true. Cause the little boy looking at his daddy like you won't take that daddy. Right, exactly. yeah, that's true. He look like hey, daddy a pup. Yeah, exactly. And, daddy, you let mama talk to you like still that. talking trash. Like and then that, the little yeah. girl looking like, hmm, when I get grown, I'm okay. talking to my man like that. Exactly. So the cycle exactly. will continue. Tell you, that's right. There's we got to break the and, cycle, and people. It's just somebody get killed. <laughs> <laughs> We well, have to I mean, break the that's cycle. True. That, that's true. So that is one of the most that, important that ingredients of a good relationship. Is respect. For so those people that emailed in who asked, they want to know. For me, that's one of the most important is, is and, and, respect. And I, and I agree. I agree. Uh, yeah, respect for sure. Is, respect is truly it. You know. So, ladies and gentlemen, and it's I, mutual, I think, I think mutual know, respect. Mutual respect. Both I think, ways. I think, I think it's you know it's truly respect. Right. That's all we could possibly that's say. That's all that we could possibly say about respect. that. Respect. Yeah, respect, for sure. You know, but yeah, you know, but we we have to get back to. We we got to get back to being women, you know. Yeah. Just having the the female anatomy yeah. don't make you a woman, right? Just having the anatomy don't make you a woman. And, and chivalry isn't dead, you know. You, you, Despite what you, you guys gotta believe. act like a woman. Yeah, chivalry isn't dead, so you know you got you got to help her, you know, sit her down and take her coat. And talk her, you know, talk yeah. things out. Yeah, don't don't, don't, don't always don't be, don't be a sore. You know, don't, don't always, you know, we had a saying, don't yeah. go in hot. Don't always go in yeah, hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, don't start yeah, down that's low. Right. You know? That's right. That's right. It changes a lot of things. Well, baby, I just, yeah. you know, I, something didn't sit well with me the exactly. other day. Can we talk? How yeah, you feel? I just recently did that. This is a good time. <laughs> you know, I just recently, just recently did Because if you go in when you're mad, you might kill somebody. Somebody might get killed. That's true. I mean, you go in and you on fire. My mother used to do that when I was a kid. I must admit, you know, my mother was... In law enforcement, you know, she would always say, she would always say what she said, she said, I'm not gonna whip you out right now, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until I cool off. <laughs> Cause Lord have mercy, she had a temper. Oh, but anyway, that's now true. She knows she'd kill yeah, yeah, it's right. So that's not, you know, that's one yeah. thing for sure that we do know that you shouldn't go in hot. You shouldn't And yes, do it. communicate, yeah. learn to communicate and learn to talk to your partner. That's true. Talk that's, that's, to your partner. True. Don't yell and scream and, you know, degrade them. Take that out sexually on her. Yeah, you, know. you know what? That yeah. might not. That might not be a bad idea. Because <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, take, take that out, when your woman cutting up, you know what? I'm telling you, I, I, that might not be a bad look, idea. I, 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 I don't know. Someone, I know saying. someone like that right now. She cuts up. She cuts up. She loses her mind and she cuts up. Well, I take her there and get with a D beat down. See. I swear to you, she walks around like, like whistling Dixie. <laughs> I'm telling it you. It seems like she, you know, I'd be like, I wonder if she take her medicine today. Whatever, whatever. But I, I know what it is. 
I know when she clowns like that, you know I, what I, to do. I promise you, that's what you all the time. That is the problem. I'm like, oh, okay. It's been a minute. See, see, guys, y'all got some some you tips gotta, and clues. You gotta, you gotta take her in there. You know what I'm Don't saying? ask and no questions. You got to whip that thing. Don't ask no questions. <laughs> you got to get her good. Just go on it. You know. You got, you got to work her out. Grab her by the hair. Mm -hmm. Don't pull the wig mm -hmm. off. You got to be careful with that. <laughs> yeah, hold on, hold on. Yo, listen to that now. You better <laughs> grab that hair. No, don't. Pick up her no. Okay, uh -uh. Well, like grab the clothes. Yeah, you know, and you take know, on it now. Grab by the throat. You know, it's like you grab by the throat now. Grab by the throat. You got to get him up. You know what I'm saying? And. Go in there, whip it out, or beat it out a little while, you know. Some people two, might hours, need that. Uh, two or three hours, or you five minute, minute man, or whatever. Whatever you do. I don't know oh, about that. that five minutes, no, that ain't Take it in there two or three hours and beat it out two or three hours. Don't let her leave. You got to make her tired. Don't even let her go in there and get a pee. You got to make her go to sleep. Don't let her go to pee. But I'm telling you, that might, that might help. She but, be you know, we have, to, we have to do our yeah, part in true. trying to make a good relationship. Each party has to do their part. You know, true. you know, you have to do your part. Excuse my phone, it goes crazy sometimes. I don't know why you don't put it on silent. Yeah, I was trying before. to put it on silent, but I forgot today. Please forgive but, me. But, you know, you got to do your part. <laughs> you, you, you have to play your role. Yeah, you do. You do. You Everybody got a position. Hey, it's okay to be checked now. I right. want you all to know that. It's okay. Hey, hey, hey believe me. It's nobody beyond checking. That's a fact. Nobody's beyond checking now. So, all you, oh, she ain't checking me. Hold up now. Anybody in the world will be checked by the right person at the right time. That's no, I don't care what nobody says. Anybody can take a check. If you can't take a check, and there's something wrong with you. That's period. Everybody, everybody gets out of pocket, and everybody can take a check. In. You know that yourself. Now, now, now sometimes you, you have to be checked. You know, you have to be checked, put back into motion. And that's, that's everybody. The woman got to be checked. Sometimes the man has to be checked. But one thing about it, in the end of the day, is at least with respect. Not being checked disrespectfully. Not that. Being checked respectfully and then understanding where you went wrong at. So you can get back and mend that thing together again. Understanding. That's yeah, the understand. second most important thing in a relationship. Yeah, that's right. We respect, got understand. respect number one. Yeah, yeah. Understand. Understanding. You, know, you got to understand. You understand. It's the greatest thing in the world. That's you understand where you... And, and, and that, that's, that's real. You know, that, that's understandable. Understand mm -hmm. where you stand with that individual. How right. far, what lines to cross, what lines you can't cross. You must mm -hmm. understand that because in every relationship we do have lines. Regardless of a person, you can just tell me, no, no, you can't tell everybody everything because when you tell somebody everything, you don't want to know that. Like I said, sometimes you think you want to know something so badly at the end you don't want to know that. Right. And this is, how, this is the truth. You do not want to know that. Trust me, you don't. So we have lines, we have boundaries, we have respect, and we have an understanding. Understanding between anyone is the greatest thing there is in the world, an understanding. That's true. The devil and God has an understanding. It's an understanding. An understanding. Once you get the understanding, hey, you understand it's the greatest thing there is in the world. you got an understanding, then... Yeah, you got the greatest thing in the world. You got the greatest thing in the world. Understand it's the greatest thing in the world. It is, indeed. Ain't nothing greater than... Ain't nothing greater than... Nothing greater. Than, than understanding. Because people... Because you know what, like, besides your brain is butter on. You know yeah. what's happening. You That's the whole problem. A lot of people yeah. don't have an understanding. Yeah. They don't know... Like I keep saying, women, you don't know your role. You don't know your lane. You know, mm -hmm. I have some mm -hmm. female acquaintances who their hearts have been broken and you know when they come to me crying you know it's like when they good i don't hear from right <laughs> right and, 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 and buddies like that some of you cats out there right. say wait now. when they good i don't hear from oh yeah but then mm -hmm. when, when when something happened mm -hmm. oh, the phone, now they want to help you talk about the bro right come on man i don't even know the woman man and come you know, on man like, they yeah, talking yeah, talking yeah, and, yeah. and then you know i'm listening i'm mm -hmm. like now, wasn't he wrong? And I'm like, uh, uh, yep. You want me to tell you the truth? There it is. There it is. Or they, you want me to lie to you? They don't want it. Oh, we tell have me the truth. to know how. Don't know. You got to, that's that's where understanding comes in. Yeah. If you you dealing with somebody, you meet somebody on new. You meet somebody new. 99.5% of the time, everybody got somebody. They got somebody somewhere. You got somebody. Somebody a lover, somewhere. A lover or a boyfriend or girlfriend. Something. Or a buddy, yeah, yeah, whatever right, you want right, to call right, it, whatever, yeah. a friend with a benefit. Or like they say, your dip. <laughs> you got somebody you got your somewhere. Dip. <laughs> so dip. you meet somebody brand new, Yeah. get an understanding in the door. Greatest thing in the world. Get an understanding. You can't get nothing greater than okay. understanding. The understanding is the greatest thing in the world. Uh, so we finna go there, right? So before we go there, yeah, yeah. and don't tell me, don't blame nothing on the alcohol. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't blame, blame on alcohol. Don't no. blame on None of that. Yeah, that's true. Get an understanding because when, when you get in these situations, this this acquaintance of mine, she got in this situation with this man and this a nice looking man. 
common sense tell you he ain't single. Mm -hmm. He got somebody somewhere. He got somebody somewhere. Everybody common got sense tell you that. If, got if he don't have nothing but a friend with a benefit, he got it somewhere. Everybody got somebody. Somebody every, somewhere. Every, every, everybody got somebody. That's the exactly. Truth. Somebody. Somewhere. So you somewhere. chose to engage in you know intimacy with this dude and you you know your heart got all into it and mm -hmm, everything and mm -hmm. then you come out your bag because you thinking now we finna move to another level because it's been a few years now oh, wow. so we finna move to that. another level so now you you want to move in together i know where this is going yeah you know and he's yeah. like no it wasn't gonna happen I, with you. See, the loving was good, but he didn't want to, and that's nothing wrong with that because that's right. how he felt about it. But she didn't check with him to make sure that exactly. was equally the same. You if know you what I'm knew saying? that's what you were looking yeah, for, yeah. if you knew that was your goal, mm -hmm. you should have made that clear. Right, but see, that people don't do that. They, people, a lot of people, not because some some of you people come there and you say, "Hey, what it is you laid out on the table," but a lot of people don't. I, you know, I would prefer that. Yeah, but they're they, they figuring me, that, that that's their yeah. duty, that's their right by, you know, dealing with them a couple months or that this is what they're paid. Their paid duty is to let's move in together. And, and I'm going to tell you all something about that. I want everybody to know this. Sometimes, not all the time, sometimes it's beautiful. But I tell you, man, some, when it's bad, when that thing is bad, mm -hmm. man, there's no feeling in the world, man, about when you can't go home when you're walking on eggs. Because you feel so bad to go home, you just want to go and kill yourself. You know, so be careful who you let in your house. Because I'm going to tell you, that's legal true. wise, you will catch hell trying to get somebody out your house. Yeah, that's true. Trust yes, me, I know will. what I'm talking about. Yes, you will. You will have to go to court. Yeah, buddy. They have rights. Yeah, buddy. If they've been living with you mm -hmm. and they get mail at your house, they mm -hmm. got that address on their ID, you ain't yeah. just going to put them out. You can't. It's, it's against the law. And that's the police true. gonna come there and they gonna tell you we yeah. can't. And you try to do some change the locks, they gonna lock you up. You do it. That's gonna. That's called an illegal lockout. Mm -hmm. You can't lock nobody yeah, out. You can't change no lock. Yeah, sure They'll can. take you to jail for they illegal sure, lockout. They sure will. Sure I'm telling you, so, people. So, it's, so it's you gotta to be really careful about who you let in your house. Who you let in your house? You let them inside got your to. house. I know you wanna. Hey, look, please. They gonna man. have more rights than you. I know sometimes <laughs> that thing be so good. You like, hey, I don't want nobody to creep on it at three o'clock in the morning. I just want to keep this thing and lay it right here and I'm on top of it every night. But hey, but let me tell you something. Sometimes, uh, sometimes, brothers, brother, I tell you, brother, sometimes it's okay for it to be alone late at night because I tell you, boy, you're going to wish you did not let that woman move That is true. You. Or men. You know, women or men. Yeah, you're going to wish you they didn't They will have more rights man. in your and, house. And why you think you're getting it while they moving in, it ain't going to be like that. When you move in with a person, you yeah. get it less. You ain't getting it like you getting it like you know. Yeah. You know, you hitting that thing less like being married. Like people married, a married couple. Oh, we be no, no. You ain't gonna hit that thing like you did when you first got married. Before you got married, you ain't gonna get like that no ten times a week. Nah, you be right out of three times a week, if that. You know, you ain't gonna be doing this thing every day like you think, like you're doing right now when she live across town. Right. Mm -mm. It becomes more serious, more intellectual. Right, now you got to worry about bills and yeah, stuff. Yeah, bills, and you all getting in. Even though you probably wasn't worrying about them or whatever, but you all are now on that level. You You're know what I'm saying? You just, well, you actually sit up and you watch a whole two, three, five right. movies, and then you cuddle. But see, my cuddle. friend, my acquaintance was delusional because I knew in the door when I saw that dude, I knew that dude wasn't single. Mm. I don't know why her ass was delusional. Yeah, yeah. But when I saw that dude, and I'm looking at him, mm -hmm. and looking at you. I'm looking at him, I'm looking at you, and I'm like, so he's single, huh? Yeah, he said he ain't got nobody. And hey, you knew that. you like, look at her, like, come on now, cut it out. Then she may put down a mean it's head game to him. It's a shortage of men out here now. Well, you know, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. There's yeah. more women than men. If it is a shortage of men out here, where's all these beautiful women? I don't know about hit me, all ladies, that. Hit me, ladies, hit me. I don't know where they at, but I'm just saying now, ain't, ain't too many men out here that's true. Not single. eligible men, actually. Because, no, you know, they got um, somebody somewhere. Man. So do your due diligence. I mean, you yeah, owe it to I, I, yourself to get an understanding. And you know, if the dude really likes you, if he really wants to be with you on an intimate level, mm -hmm. he'll come clean with you. And you know, just just be woman enough to say, you know what, I really dig you. I do. I want to be intimate with you. I do. But help me go there with you. Be honest with me. Let me know. Let me make the decision. 
Right. I agree. Let me make an educated decision. Because if I really did you, I'm going to do it anyway. That's right. You're going to do it. Anyway. I'm just going to approach it in a different manner. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah, that's all. I'm yeah. going to protect me. Yeah. But now, I'm not going into this with false expectations. Mm -hmm. I'm not going into this like my acquaintance did. You know, you think it... You hearing red wedding bells already on the first day. Yeah, and you know you got this uh, pretty boy. This guy ain't single. What's wrong well, with what's you? Good? First of all, first of all <laughs> she's a nut. You know, you know, I'm your, like, your friend was a real nut. To be <laughs> with, I mean. Prince Dondi is so now, cruel. I can tell you, I know her friend, and I can tell Dondi you. Dondi is cruel, y'all. Her best day, I'm talking about, you know, her best day, like when a person's dressed up one in ten. And her best day, she's a one and a half. One oh, a, no, you one didn't say quarter, one and a half. One and a quarter, when she puts everything together. And one and a quarter. You can't even get to the half point. She's one and a quarter. You know, percent. That's, it, that's at her best. That's at her best. I tell you. It's one and a bad. quarter, Donnie. Well, she's zero when she's doing nothing at all. You know, she does not exist. She does oh, not exist. She's Lord. not computer. She's gruesome. She's like, she's like a bag of sin. What? What's a bag of sin? Oh, ugly, Lord. Ugly, Lord, Lord. It's too ugly for God to look up on. Oh, he throws it in the sea of forgiveness. Oh, my God. It's ugly. A sea of forgiveness. Well, you know what? We're approaching uh, the end of our show, y'all. I want to kind of wrap this up for me. And we agree on this. Yeah, respect. Respect. Mm -hmm. It's one of them. Understanding. And understanding. That's it. Those are things. If you have those two. That's a great relationship. You can be rich or you can be poor, but if you have those two, mm -hmm. you know, you, you can you can make it. And sex, great sex. It's got to be great sex. The sex has got to be off the chain. I mean, Everybody she ain't got, got great sex. Oh, she got to work. Everybody don't have great sex. Well, it great to you, I was great to other people, but it got to be great. <laughs> she got to be there, no, I throw that thing back. Mm -hmm. Oh, you all yes, excuse my it. brother. But believe me, she got to have a rubber neck, rubber neck. She got, oh Lord, have mercy. They, those things you gotta have now. Disclaimer, have disclaimer. We're not trying a to rubber neck. Oh, fine. <laughs> a rubber neck, small little ways, pretty in the face. You gotta be to work that thing, work that thing, work that sucker to death. But anyway. Oh wow. Y'all see my brother on the road today. He feels good today. He finna go hang out with celebrities, y'all. Oh, yeah. well, well, he finna go hang out with Terrence yeah, Howard, y'all. Well, 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 I ain't even going over there. I don't wanna I don't wanna appear like a groupie, no. No, yeah, no, he doesn't come on. I'm not coming come, out. Come I got, hang out. I got things. Smoke a couple of nice sticks. And, you know, I ain't coming out there because he going to think I'm a groupie and he ain't all that to me. My buddy's mm. not like that. My buddy's not like that. Look. Look, ladies. I look tell like you. One of them, them I tell you. Nice uh, I tell you. Hey, hey, Terrence Howe's a great actor. I like him. He's a good friend. Mm -hmm. I tell you all ladies. I don't what. want him I, to think I'm no groupie. This is what I want to tell you ladies today. This is what I want to tell you ladies today. I think all of you all are beautiful. If you really believe it, you are beautiful. But know that you're three, you're three. Know if you're ten, believe me, you may be a twelve. But you know what? That's all let, a matter let, of opinion. No, because me, there's another. Uh, let me be able to. There's another you. guy that has a platform on YouTube, and and you know he he tells women that they ain't no ten. But you know what? I really like him. He's highly intelligent. Well, I really enjoy his show. He's telling the truth. No, but the thing so is, but the thing they not. All right, he's right. They delusional. Okay. But right. I mean, who your idea of a ten is is not a ten to everybody. Oh yes, it is. Kelly rolling a 10 to you? I feel like the answer on the girls that may incriminate me. Huh? I feel like the answer on the girls that may incriminate me. See? See what I'm saying? I didn't See? say she was. I didn't See? Say, I didn't say. Our producer, is Kelly rolling a 10 to you? You choose the answer on the girls. Is she a 10? What she is to you? She about an 8. Okay, that's the point I'm trying to make. Wait, hold on, hold on. We're going to go some more names now? That no, but that's who he always references. But Jennifer Lopez, yes, yeah, she is. That's who. That's a it's, matter of opinion. Uh, oh no, she's a ten. Okay, who you are? You know, that's a matter of okay, opinion. Okay, who you are out there? She's ten. Uh, uh, that's a matter of Paula opinion. Paula Patton, she's a ten. Yeah, she's a ten. She yeah, looked like Doug. She just like plain Doug. and light skin. Well, she's so fine. <laughs> <laughs> She's so fat. It's a matter of opinion. No, it a matter of My point here wait, the is hey, hey, the beauty fact, is in the, the eye fact, wait, a fact of is a the fact. beholder. A fact is a fact. See, an opinion is something that you just have. Right, so but I feel like fact. that's 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 his opinion. But, but what's no no, it's not my opinion. That's your opinion. If I didn't like the person, I gotta tell the truth. Everybody producer is is, is Jennifer Lopez a ten. See what I'm saying? Yes, she is. But you know what? She's that's not fair because okay, she got all this point. money and stuff. Ain't some money? Ain't no money. No. She got no money. No. <laughs> hey, 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 hold on, hold on, no. hold on. Cardi B, a Cardi B, a ten. Yes, she's a ten. Okay. 
Hell, if I'd have spent that much money on me, I'd have got a 20. It don't matter. It don't matter. <laughs> Hey, hey. I, look, I ain't mad at Cardi. Cardi B's a 10. She done up. Uh, yeah, she Cardi, a 10. Cardi she B. paid to be a 10. Uh, she what, what, she a 20. Nick, Nicki Minaj, what is she a 10? Yeah, she a 10. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Cardi B's a 10. If I had their th- money, yeah, I showed them. It don't matter about it. Don't matter what they are. It's what they are. But okay. I'm, I'm just well, saying it's still a matter of well, opinion. No, it's not I'm a matter of opinion. I'm sure there's some men who are going to think that they're 10. Well, those men are dead and crazy. You know what I'm going to do with him, y'all. They're crazy. But anyway, I hope. That we have somebody. You know, this was an off-the-chain show today. Yeah. We in a good mood today. We got good news today. We yeah. got good vibes going. You know, we, we get paid today. We have a good, we live a good, peaceful <laughs> existence. You are looking at some happy people. We are not miserable people. We get paid today. <laughs> <laughs> it's so wrong. <laughs> I'm hey. telling you. But hey. uh, let me give a shout out to our sponsors, Crazy. <laughs> We are a part of the NMG Network. If you have comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to call us at 872-307-3828. We have a couple of sponsors. We have Don's Construction. Mm -hmm. The number is 708-735. What else? 9580. 9580. We have Kane's Medical Career Training. Mm -hmm. The lovely Mrs. Walker is the instructor. If you ever were a CNA and you let your license lapse, and Mrs. Walker can help you get recertified, or if you want to become a CNA, Mrs. Walker has a CNA training school. Mm -hmm. You can reach her at Kane's Medical Career Training.com, lowercase. Or 773-699-8819. And again, I'm going to give a shout out to our, our uh, ladies that emailed in. Miss Angela Brown of Chicago. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. And Miss Denise McLean of Georgia. Mm-hmm. There you go. Thank you guys. And also in Georgia. Yeah, you for emailing and, and uh, sending me your questions. And, you know, Thank you finale. so much. Thank you so much. I hope much. he answered your questions. I will. Send me a picture, both of you. And, uh, <laughs> send but, a picture. We're waiting. I'm your girl Val Devereaux. And I'm Prince Dandy, and I'm waiting for you. And until <laughs> next time, I want everybody to be safe out there. Be vigilant. Keep your eyes open. Your head should be, you know, like on a swivel. Mm-hmm. And remember, at all times, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. There you go. Yeah, I got to fix it. If it's all right, y'all. Okay. Take it easy. Okay, love you. Peace. <laughs>